الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد the dangers of declaring one another to be disbelievers and innovators in the religion of Islam is something very serious that we should pay attention to. And especially those people who are new to the religion and those people who Allah has not favored with much knowledge of the religion. So it's imperative that we're cautious with our tongues. As the Prophet ﷺ said, when asked about the people that will be, the deeds that will enter the people into paradise and the deeds that will enter the people in the fire, or the things that will help lead a person into Jannah, and the things that will help lead a person into the hellfire. سُئِلَ نَبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ عَلَىٰ أَكْثَرِ مَا يُدْخُلَ النَّاسِ الْجَنَّةِ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked, What is the thing that will lead the people into paradise the most? قَالْ تَقُوا اللَّهُ وَحُسْنُ خُلْقِ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Fearing Allah and good manners. وَسُئِلَ عن أكثر ما يدخل الناس النار فقال الثم وفرج The Prophet ﷺ was also asked And what will make the people, make a person enter the hellfire the most? The Prophet ﷺ said The mouth, or meaning the tongue And the private parts Meaning speaking about evil, speaking evil, lying, false testimony, cursing one another, making takfir of one another, making tibdi' or declaring one another to be innovators without knowledge. All of these things are evil things that come from the mouth. And of course it's well known those things coming from the private parts, ayyuala habba, meaning to commit uh, unlawful sexual intercourse, adultery, fornication, and masturbation, and all of those sins related to not guarding our private parts. Ayyullah Habba, this illustrates for us the importance of speaking based on knowledge. And that if you want to avoid some of the most grievous sins, those major sins and from harming one another then you should be cautious with your tongue with what you speak about and speak with knowledge Ayyul Ahbab let's listen to what Allama Shaykh Salih bin Fawzan Hafidhullahu Ta'ala what he mentioned very briefly about some of these issues the Shaykh was speaking about those people who do not have a right, which is most of us, to speak about the issues of takfir, of declaring another Muslim to be a disbeliever, and tabdir, of declaring another Muslim to be an innovator. And ayyul ahbab, this sickness plagues our community uh, quite, quite a bit, that we have so many people. How many new Muslims have you listened to? And people who may not be new Muslims, but they have never studied anything. They don't know the Arabic language. They don't have the ability to take from the scholars. They rely strictly and solely upon translation for the for the religion. On top of that, they've never sat in a dars or a lecture, or maybe they've sat in a dars and a lecture. But they don't have the ability, they're not even talibat al-ilm, to be able to speak about other people. And you hear the first thing on their tongue is they're saying they know something about jarwa ta'deel. And they don't know how to read Surah Al-Fatiha properly. Wallahu mustan. And this is dalal al-mubin. This is... Uh, clear misguidance, ayyul ahbab. So let's listen to what this alama, alama rabbani, what he has to say. He said, Hafidhullah ta'ala, speaking about the people who speak without knowledge and who speak about these uh, affairs and have no right to do so, 
and they do not understand these issues. أَن يَتَعَلَّمُوا قَبْلَ أَن يَتَكَلَّمُوا وَأَن يَتَّقُوا اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ لأن كلام بغير العلم لا سيما في هذه الأمور شر عظيم ولأنه أيضا من كلام على الله بغير العلم وهذا أعظم من الشرك لقوله تعالى قل إنما حرم ربي الفواحش ما ظهر منها وما بطن إلى قوله وأن تقولوا على الله ما لا تعلمون The Sheikh said حفظ الله تعالى he said that those people who speak about these issues, they don't understand. They don't have fiqh fi deen. They don't have understanding in the religion. And that they should learn, you know, seek knowledge before they speak. And ta'lamu and yata'allamu qabla and yatakallamu. They should learn before they speak. And they should fear Allah Azza wa Jal. So these are a couple of shurut the Sheikh has given us. That before you speak, you need knowledge. Number two, that you need to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with what comes out of your mouth. Because maybe you have some knowledge. Maybe you have, Allah's favored you with something. But then you speak about this one. You curse this one. You lie about this one. You spread scandal about this one. Wallahu musta'an. So, وَأَنْ يَتَّقُوا اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلُ So fear Allah the Almighty. لِأَنَّ كَلَامْ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ لا سيما في هذه الأمور شر عظيم. He said, and because speaking about these issues or speaking without knowledge, especially about these issues, is very wicked. And then he said, and that is because also speaking about uh, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala without knowledge is greater than shirk. It's greater than polytheism, the Sheikh said, half of the Allah Ta'ala. And he said, and this is due to the statement of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala where he said, Say, verily your, uh, my Lord has prohibited you from fawahish, you know, all kind of wicked deeds, that which is open and that which is concealed. Until the ayat where Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, and also to speak about Allah without knowledge speaking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge ayyul ahbab beware the issue of making takfir without the right to do so and beware of the issue of tabdir of, of calling other people to be innovators uh, innovators in the religion if you don't have knowledge about the principles uh, pertaining to that and you don't even know the principles of who ahl sunnah is and who ahl bid'ah is and you don't know how to make tatabbaq of those principles. You don't know how to look at those kuwa'id, those principles in the deen, and apply it to individuals. Ayyul Ahbab, it's dangerous. And this is also a stern warning to those people who Allah has not favored with guidance, like the Jamaat al Ahbash. Those people who make takfir of Ahl Sunnah. They make takfir of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. They make uh, takfir of Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. They make takfir of many of the great ulama of Ahl sunnah And they speak about Allah without knowledge. And they use fabricated hadith and fabricated sayings that they have not even checked into the authenticity of to affirm deviant creed. Like making tabarak, to, uh, seeking blessings from the dead. How is it, ayyul ahbab? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes prohibition of shirk all throughout the Qur'an and the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, all throughout the authentic sunnah has uh, shown us that shirk is the greatest sin. So ayyul ahbab, don't speak without knowledge and seek knowledge and speak little and learn your religion and don't make tikfir and do not make tibdir or tifsiq. Of, uh, of, of, of your brothers and sisters without knowledge and without the right to do so. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the ulama of Ahl Sunnah that are living and have mercy and bless the ulama of Ahl Sunnah uh, that have deceased all the way from the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in all the way up to the ulama of this day. 
and those who have deceased before us and left behind so much khair for us to follow. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. May Allah bless them all with jannah for those and you and I as well. And may Allah forgive us of our sins and bless us with guidance. Ameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.